Today we are going to discuss the Sanford coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss belong to the Sanfords of Sanford and Troutshire, England. They descended from Sir Thomas de Sanford, alive in the year 1206 AD, who was a descendant of Thomas de Sanford, a Norman and supposed companion of William the Conqueror. He was also born by Francis Sanford Esquire, who died in 1693. He was a herald and genealogist, and the third son of Francis Sanford Esquire of Sanford. It was also born by Sir Francis Richard Sanford, knighted in 1863. He was the son of Sir Daniel Sanford, born 1738, seen here, a Greek scholar and member of the House of Commons, and the grandson of Reverend Daniel Sanford, born 1766, the Bishop of Edinburgh. Now, next is a series of coats of arms that are very similar with similar crests, and depending on the source that you look at, um, you might get a different story here, but I tried to do my best. Um, the first one shown here is for the Sanfords of the Isle of Uprossel in Troutshire who descended from Nicholas Sanford, Esquire of Culver Hall. Um, he was the third son of Nicholas, who obtained in 1426 a grant of the estate of Lee near Whitechurch. It was also the arms of the Sanfords of Howgill and Ascombe. The Sanford Baronets of Howgill in the County of London was a title awarded to Thomas Sanford in 1641. He was a member of Parliament for Cockermouth and the son of Sir Richard Sanford of Howgill Castle, who was a descendant of Thomas Sanford of Ascombe, who died in 1564. There was also Sanford of Nuthurst in County Lancashire. Samuel Sanford, a mercer of London, set up a house at Nuthurst in 1664 and was son of John Sanford, son of Robert Sanford, who were both of high ashes. Sons, uh, son of Miles Sanford of Woodhouse, ultimately a descendant of Brian Sanford of Thorpe Selvin in Tickhill, Yorkshire. Now a very similar coat of arms with the boar having a broken spear in its thrust in its mouth. One source says it's for Sanford of Stowe in Gloucester, belonging to a Robert Sanford of Stowe. There was another Sanford of Stonehouse in Gloucester. The source states that there was William Sanford, alive in the year 1623, son of Anselmus Sanford and son of William Sanford. And then it also notes uh, Sanford of Springhill in Essex, which I wasn't able to find any information on. Another for San Hill, Sanford of Wispech in the Isle of Eli or Ely in Cambridgeshire, England. There was a church brass in this area for Nicholas Sanford, who died in 1638. Another, with the crest not depicted, but it's a boar's head erased stable in the mouth, a broken spear headed Argent Guti Ghouls. This is for the Sanfords of Colchester in Essex. Thomas Sanford of Colchester had son George, who had issue George, Robert, Edmund, Arthur, Alice, and Matthew. Sanford of Yorkshire, William de Sanford, al alive in the 14th century. Sanford of Bakewell and Derbyshire, and Turkhill in Northumberland. William Sanford of Bakewell, alive in the year 1616, eldest son of John Sanford of the same place, and grandson of William Sansford of Turkhill. Sanford of Crompton, Crompton in Middlesex and Crocorn in Hertfordshire. Thomas Sanford, alive in the year 1572, of Brompton, was son of Bernard Sanford of Crocorn. We have Sanford of Raleigh in Essex. Sicily, a daughter and heiress of this family, married John Strangman in 1519. Sanford of Milverton in Somerset. Hugh Sanford Esquire of Milverton had son William Sanford, who had son John. 
Sanford of London, there was Edward Sanford, alive in the year 1568, a citizen and merchant tailor of London, who was a descendant of Hugh Sanford of Milverton, and also born by John Sanford, alive in the year 1690, Prebendary in Canterbury, and the son of Richard Sanford of Chard in Somerset. Sandford of Glamorgan, Wales. Wasn't able to find any information on this, but we do see it in quarters of the following coats of arms. Coat of arms of Baron Mount Sanford of Ireland, Henry Sanford, landowner and politician in Ireland. He was elevated to the peerage of Ireland as a baron in 1800, and he was a descendant of Captain Theophilus Sanford of Moyglair in County Meath, Ireland, who died in 1688. Here we see Moyglare and a supposed painting of Theophilus Sanford. Sanford of Ninehead Court in Wellington, Somerset, was purchased sometime after 1620 by Martin Sanford, who was succeeded by his brother John Sanford, a London cloth merchant and member of Parliament. Here we see Ninehead Court. Sanford of Sanford's Court in Kilkenny, Ireland. George Montague Warren Sanford was a member of Parliament for Malden in 1874 and a descendant of Thomas Sanford, Esquire of Sanford's Court, who was Secretary, Lord Deputy of Ireland in 1656. And of this family, there was also Thomas Sanford, Mayor of Kilkenny in 1723. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.